So, hold on a minute, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Josh Couch Duration. In this video, we're down in Leicester to meet the man himself, Matt Armstrong. Now, Matt has got a relatively small YouTube channel of about 1.4 million subscribers. <laughs> and what he basically does is he rebuilds wrecked cars. We've got the G86, we've got the C63, M3, M5, and also a Lamborghini Murcielago. But today, we're here to pick up Matt's BMW E24. So Matt, tell us a little bit how you came across the car and what you wanted to do to it. Um, the weird one really, like someone dropped part of my unit, we got talking and then he said he had a um, E24 6 Series that um, car, yeah, yeah. it needs a restoration and he's never got round to doing. So I said, oh, I'll have it off you and I'll, I'll give that a go. Bought it off him for five grand, uh, stripped it apart. Completely rusty, even though they said me it had been dry stored. Uh, proper rusty and um, since then, uh, because of the rust, the issue is I only have two ramps. So once this goes into one ramp, we do all the rust, the, all, all the other builds get on, get put on hold. So it's literally just sat there since then for like an opportunity to arise where I can put it in the ramp yeah. and, and work on it. But it's never going to happen. Like literally the cars that are coming in and out, I need time on the ramp and this will hold up so much stuff. So then obviously you guys came along and that'll be perfect for me. That's it, yeah. Well, that's, that's where we do come in because that's what we do. We yeah. do rust. So. We will get it sorted for you. There's a lot of rust on it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of rust. <laughs> Right, so we're stood in front of Matt Armstrong's E24 at the moment. We've come down to Leicester to pick it up and load it up. So let's get back, let's get it on a ramp and see how rusty it actually is. Hello Matt? Yeah, no, you're gonna have to come and get your car mate. Right, so we've got the E24 on the ramp and looking underneath. It's bad, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. It, it is pretty, pretty bad. It's not pretty bad, it's really bad. It's quite bad, to be it's honest. The baddest. This side isn't too bad. It's still bad, but. This side, on the other hand. It's very bad. Um, there's a hole, a big hole in the floor, which you can actually prod the carpet, the carpet's wet. Um, very nice. And there's also a big hole in the chassis rail and we need to rebuild probably that much of the chassis rail. We've got the correct tools for the job. Um, now, it is pretty crispy to be honest.
Right, so the main rusty area is... All over the car. The main part of the rust, if you... It's you're... all over. <laughs> <laughs> the first part of the journey for this E24 was with Matt. Link in the description to his playlist for this car. Now, it did remove the engine, but the engine is just sat in there for now. Um, we do need to remove that again. He just put it in there for storage. Um, and you'll also see that um, if you've watched his videos, this is the worst part of the rust. It's now, all worst. No, it is all worst, <laughs> yes. Um, but this actually does extend up to the front of the chassis rail as well. Um, what are these marks here, by the way? Um, screwdriver, driver of truth. <laughs> screwdriver. No. We don't need the screwdriver of truth. Sledgehammer of total annihilation. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's bad. This is supposed to be metal. <laughs> we'll cut this way. <laughs> there we go. There's one more. No, it'll we all fall out. We can't. <laughs> all that remains is the screwdriver of truth. And he that pulled... The screwdriver too <laughs> is the king of rust. <laughs> Right, so on the hole, well, the E24 actually needs to go in a hole. And there's plenty of holes in it that shouldn't be there. That's how bad it is. Mm -hmm. Joking aside, on the hole, it's not actually that bad. Now, it's gone in all the usual areas. Yep, like around the wheel arches, in the sill sections, underneath the front wings, everywhere. So what we need to concentrate on first is, is getting all that structural work done first. So the chassis rail and the floor pan. Once that's done, we can get it on a rotisserie, flip it around to get all the underside done. Once that's done, flip it back around and then we can get all the bodywork done. So this is not going to be the quickest job, but we are going to do it correctly. So everything we do on the E24 will be documented on our YouTube channel. It'll be on our Instagram and Facebook as well. Make sure you do check out Matt Armstrong's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, because he's actually made this happen. This is his car that we're doing. And make sure you do smash that like button if you do enjoy the video. Check out our other content. And with that being said, we'll catch you in the next one. That's it. We smashed it. We'll cut this way. Ha, 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 ha.